Hi, my name is Annabelle and this is my husband and I on the day we got married. We lived in Southern California in the beautiful city of Long Beach and we absolutely loved it. But in 2020, we really felt like it was time for us to move to England for a chapter of our lives. My husband is born and raised in England so it just felt right. We packed up our lives and we moved across the world. But since moving, we have missed a lot of our friends and family. Here are just a few of them. While I miss my friends and my family from back home, since moving to England, there have been some new memories, amazing moments, and so much to look forward to. So come along as I continue to make England my home. We are traveling again, so I'm bringing you along on the process. We are going to Poland, Krakow specifically, and I'm currently packing. It's a couple days before. Most of the vlogs obviously going to take place then, but I wanted to bring you along all the aspects, which currently is figuring out how to fit all my stuff into that tiny backpack. So we are flying Ryanair. Um, and we're cheap and we want to make this trip as cheap to get there as possible so that we can spend money when we're there. So we aren't checking a bag um, and we are only allowed like this one size of backpack, which is exactly what that girl down there is. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how to, oh there I am, make cute outfits, pack, everything that I need, including liquids, everything into this little backpack. As you can see, it's already pretty full. So that is the reality. If you want to travel cheaply in Europe and go all around, you gotta fit everything to backpack. Um, but I'm gonna do it and I'll see you in a couple days when I have done it. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for all of the adventures um, of Will and I traveling again. We reached that point before our trip, it's the day before, where all the last minute things we need to do is hitting. And Will and I, it's I like, what, to me it's like 6 p.m. or something, and all I want to do is take a nap right now. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's getting glazed over. Well, we have to do a pasture locator form for Poland. Yeah. Just did that. Checked us in. Got our COVID passes. Yeah. And our recovery passes. We both had COVID already. Well, Winning. Hey. Um, <laughs> um, not a good thing. And no, but and Will still needs to pack, which we'll do that later. I just need to finish packing. Need to make dinner. Need to have so much work I still need to do. Well. We leave to California in the end of November, so I need to get ahead. So that's about why. Poland, not California. I know, but I'm just I have so much work. So I'm trying to get ahead. So much work. Um but yeah, I can't take it out. We're gonna get there in the end. We'll be fine. What, Krakow or California? Krakow. We're gonna try not miss our flight this time like we did last time. <laughs> so we made it onto the bus to head to the terminal. We just parked in a long stay. Car park, you just lock your car. Just make sure. 
Um, yeah, we just parked. It took us two hours to get here. It's still dark outside. It's only 7 a.m. Are you excited? You excited, though? Oh, can't wait, yeah. No way. He's literally locking, locking the car. gate I think we're like one of the first first people here um we got to the airport so early today a couple weeks ago when we flew somewhere we missed our flight and I think we're just traumatized so we got here early so we had breakfast see that was literally us last time running poor people it's stressful um anyway so I got my coffee got a little flat white with oat milk and a shot of vanilla I'll give you a little OOTD. Um, when you fly with Ryanair, you can basically only have a small backpack. So let me show you. So this is my bag, this backpack. Um, and this, the trick is to wear your heaviest, thickest clothes when you fly. So I have my two jackets, a scarf and a sweater. Hold on. What? Anyways, um, so I've taken it off right now because it got quite warm, but I tie it, I have this sweater that I tie around my neck, a puffer jacket and a leather jacket, and then I'm wearing my jeans because these are thick and heavy, these shoes which are massive and heavy, and then I'm just wearing a little black long sleeve that's thin to go under all of my layers, um, and then that is how you beat the system. Um, but yeah, everything's been going well, smoothly, um, can't wait to get there soon. already um, we just got to our Airbnb though so I wanted to show you it so when you walk in this is what you see obviously there's mirrors along here there's just this is the bathroom this toilet another mirror another mirror and then that's the cool shower edgy right shop light um, and then you come out here put our stuff down on the couch this is a little hangout space TV, there's Will, a little bar stools, kitchen, so cute. And then you walk over here and this is our little bedroom. Biggest bed I think we've had since we've been traveling. So that's amazing. Another mirror, <laughs> they love the mirrors. Side tables and then we have a little balcony, um, which is not much of a view, but up there is the rooftop terrace that we get to use um so we probably will go up there at some point in these next couple days but yeah literally so obsessed this is crazy beautiful love it so you made it onto the rooftop terrace how's it how you feeling about these vibes well yeah vibe check this is good. insane so I just um, threw on some natural makeup. Um, why are you laughing? Is that like an oxymoron? I don't think so. I think my makeup look is natural. Um, no mascara, natural. no foundation, no concealer. Mm -mm. Um, and basically, we'll just summarize what we're about to do. We're going to go walk to find, to find carbs. 
Um, the sun sets at 5.30 p.m. here, which is quite early, mm -hmm. so we're going to try and enjoy as much of the sunshine before um, it sunsets, and then we'll probably come back here later, and then we have dinner reservations. But I'm just wearing the same thing I was wearing earlier, um, but I've just switched into my Air Force Ones to be a bit more comfy. Um, so let's go. Let's go, babes. See let's reds. go, babes. Babes, I'm reds. Reds. We're babes, we're reds. <laughs> I just told Will that I'm literally in love with Poland and you were like... Mate, Poland's a great place. Love point two people. seconds. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's just so beautiful. It's like proper though, like. And then God just goes and paints the sky for us after we had some food. I can't. about to head to dinner as a place that we made a reservation for um, yesterday. So we were, are gonna be late. So we're hoping that's fine. We tried to call them, um, but they don't speak English and obviously we don't speak Polish. So we've I emailed- I if they speak English. Yeah, we've emailed them because that's how we made our reservation. So hopefully it's fine. Although I'm sure there's plenty of good places to eat. Um, I just give you a little outfit of the night. Um, I just put some mascara on and some more lipstick and I put in some of my clip and extensions that I have um, because thought that'd be fun because why not have long hair for a night? And then I'm just wearing this white um, long sleeve like turtleneck cutout thing which is from Shein. Um, so super affordable. And then my jewelry is either from my um, grandma or second hand. Um, earrings are actually from one of my best friends. And then I'm wearing these leather pants. They're like wide leg, which are also from Shein. And then I'm wearing my classic big platform black boots, which I thrifted. And then I just have my Louis Vuitton bag. And um, I'm gonna wear my my leather jacket or something. Will, do you have your OOTD? Do you mean OOTD? Sorry, what is it called? OOTN, Outfit of the Night. All right, show them, show, show the viewers. This is what they all look for. Got my Air Force Ones, because I don't want my shoes. Got my chinos, and my Supreme Long Sleeve. Yes, Will only brings one pair of shoes when we do these travels, because obviously you saw the backpack, he can only bring what he wears. I normally will bring one, except this time I wanted to bring the boots so I could like dress up outfits, because sometimes Air Force Ones make things look too casual. So. And I've got a little navy jacket to match my navy long sleeve. Yeah, so that is us. I think we're, very, we're very excited. We need to go catch a tram, right? A tram? Yeah, I think so. All right. We'll See you out. guys later. So it's a bit dark. Oh, hang on, hang on. I can hook this up. Here we go. Oh, yeah. But we got onto the tram and we're like, great. Contactless, gonna buy a ticket when we're on the tram. Easy, busy. Um, easy. We'll go sort it out. Coins only. 
coins only. But there's a backstory here. When Will was about 18? 18. You were, um, sorry, we're gonna speed up, we're gonna speed up. Kind of, you know, kind of we, Will was 18, he was his best friend and traveling all around Europe. And they got on a tram and they're like, ah, oh, it's fine, we're just not gonna pay for it, bad. It'll be fine. No, they check very regularly on the trams. And you got how big of a fine, you two? Okay, so the, so the ticket was about 40p. And we got fines like 35 pounds. Yeah, so if you're like a watch from the US, about 40 cents versus 50, like, yeah, 50 like, dollars. So Will was like, oh no, we're literally on the tram again and we don't have a ticket. This time, this time wasn't intentional. We really had all the intentions of getting one. Anyway, so we hopped off. So now we're walking. <laughs> we will make it to dinner at some point. So we've got the reservation for eight. We're gonna get there exactly at 8.15. Which hopefully there's a 15 minute grace period. Hopefully. We'll let you know. Amazing. It was so good. It was lovely. We had <laughs> um, much food. We had so much food. We just got back home. We're chilling. It's really late. It's, it's, it's half ten. <laughs> ten thirty. But for our bodies, that's nine thirty. <laughs> it's so late. Way past our bedtime. So we're probably going to go to bed soon, actually. But we're just chilling. I'm going to edit some pictures, I think. Post on the gram. But we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Can I say good morning? Good morning. Um, it's about 10.30. We are heading out to get breakfast. Um, woke up around 9-ish, 9.30. We were both so tired from our travels yesterday, but um, I slept pretty good. The bed pillows are massive and like so thick. It's a bit funny, but like they're just massive pillows. Like my neck was a bit like, uh. Um, but we figured it out. You'll probably sleep even better tonight. How'd you sleep, Will? Um, I'd give it like a six and a half out of 10. Yeah, so I was probably more like a four because I'm already a high maintenance sleeper anyways. So especially, I was a high maintenance sleeper. Unless I have my bed and my pillow, I usually don't sleep that well. Um, but I am just wearing like same jewelry as yesterday, sunglasses, this little fur zip top, my jeans that I got a lovely oil stain on from the food yesterday, and then just comfy Air Force ones, the Louis Vuitton bag, and then I'm gonna throw like on a coat and like scarf and stuff, and then I have gloves in my bag because. It actually gets quite cold overnight. It's like 34 degrees overnight, which is like one degree Celsius. Um, when you walk around in the day, it's fine, but it's the morning, so it might be a little bit, a little bit cold. So, but that is that. So, come with us for another great day. On camera. Poor timing. Over there. When you're trying to speak. Absolutely beautiful. Just like stunning. The view is amazing. This is the view. Stunning. My best views, Will. But come on. Can't get this in California, can you, babe? Mm -mm. Cause what? Because this was all built before America even existed. Fact. You love it. What's a fact? Absolutely love it. A little bit. 
when there's literally this beautiful yeah. thing and then this hard rock cafe. You can never escape a hard rock. <gasps> Just brought us some insight. What did you say? Well, all the falling leaves. This is why they call it fall. I never realized that before. Thank you. You're Literally, welcome. I married him for his brains, guys. Genius. For maybe. his brains. <laughs> said to Will. She's way off. How people say. No, 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 no. no. You said okay, you, you start from said the beginning. It. Start from the beginning. We, okay, we just Annabelle got our boat said. tour, which we'll talk about in a second. But we went to like the little restaurant next to the boat to pee and great times. You said you saw a sign that said what? What did the sign say? Oh, uh, no, I saw something that was like, Mariah Carey, Mar Mariah Carey is defrosting as we speak. Because we we're like almost Christmas time. And I was like, yeah, and so is Michael Bublé. And then Will was like, yeah, like, Michael Blaine never needs to work again because every Christmas he just made a killing. Every every Christmas, then he's I fine. love his album. Everyone loves his album. And I was like, yeah, that's. Then Annabelle what, said. Yeah, that's why people say. No, no, no. You no, no. Said I, it. Okay. Yes, but I was in my head thinking that people say this. Hold on, there's bike. Um, he's the modern day Frank Sinatra, Whoa. which I I was saying to Will, I don't necessarily agree with because Frank Sinatra Dude, is not the modern day. Yeah, Frank Sinatra. Frank, you sin is incredible, surpasses Michael Bublé in every way, in every sense. But I genuinely yeah, so heard- they're not comparable. No, I know, but people always say he's a modern day, and I think it's because in our like lifetime, no one has made as much money, been as well known, for a style of music similar-ish to Frank Sinatra. Anyways, stupid. She's way What off. do you think? Leave a comment. Yeah, I think Sinatra is still comments. better, but Will's freaking just pissed off that anybody ever thinks that, apparently. Any he's comment really is good for the algorithm. He's really so. passionate, yeah. He's really passionate about Frank Sinatra, apparently. He learns something new every day no, in marriage. No, that's like comparing, like, like the new Spider-Man to the old Spider-Man. I get your frustration, but that's just what people think. Anyways, we had an amazing boat tour. Did you love it? Uh, well, I'm I'm in a bad mood now. Oh my god! No, I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I, I loved it. Stuff. It was yeah, beautiful. Was great weather. We had a great little drink that we got to take on on April Spritz. We got a beer, and now we are on our way to what is the place called? Can you pronounce it, bruh? No. Um, it's this Polish restaurant. It's very like simple. Classic. It's very simple to um, simple pay menu. homage to when Poland was communist when it was controlled yeah. and it was in a communist state it's very simple food and simple drinks yeah so they're kind um, of like it's you know very simple but they say like that's what it would have been like back in the day but apparently it's really good but apparently the food is really good and it's kind of just it makes you think of a different time so we're gonna go there to appreciate the culture of the place that was and, and we want authentic polish food um, tomorrow we're probably gonna get like some more like cool food like there's like I mean cool food as in there's places like international food markets but we really want to get classic Polish stuff today we haven't had any vodka since being here vodka kind of terrifies me it's not really my drink of choice especially neat um, don't know if I'll get any but that's definitely the thing here so I think so we'll, we'll find out we'll definitely want to try some um, so we got a bit busy on the road so we're gonna do that and we will catch up with you soon
so a bit of a change of plans. The place that we found ooh, online, I think it's a bit early for the food. They're open till 2 a.m. So, and it's only 2 p.m. or now it's like 2.30. So I think we got them a bit earlier than when their chef's there. Cause we're like food and he's like, mm. we're like, okay. Oh, he was like, mm. and, we were, and like, we're like, so no. Anyway. So we just got three shots of vodka instead. I had one. Um, don't think it's my thing, but I got a sex on the beach shot, which added a bit of orange juice and a bit of like, what, cran what is it, cranberry syrup? Cranberry syrup. So it made it a bit sweet because like getting that vodka, but you got like a, got lemon, like a lemon one and then this and other one. one. That's just like a nice vodka. I guess. Yeah, I think. But like, oh, that's what, so that's nice. what like everybody does. Like other people are coming in just like asking for shots. Like it's quite, you don't really get a glass of wine. You just like go in somewhere, get a shot of vodka and call it a day. And it was three pounds for three shots. Which is <laughs> such a good price. <laughs> if you're like out in London, the shot's like 10 pounds. So yeah, so we did that. Now we're waiting at this place basically. It's like the Polish the Polish pizza, which obviously is a bit different, but with like a baguette with like cheese, it's meat, basically like vegetables. Basically they baguette and they use that. They put a bunch of stuff on top of it. So we got one, what are we getting? It was like salami, pickled cucumbers, cheese. It was like one of the like, traditional ones. It was um, a crack off one. So we're waiting that. She's like some classic street food. So we're going to try that. And, and then, then we I'm got fries. fries. The Belgian fries. Important. Thought we needed the extra carbs. Belgian because obviously... fries. <laughs> well, there was not Polish fries. It was either fries this or Belgian such fries. such a globalized so. world. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for that. And we're going to eat that in a second. All right. I haven't eaten it yet, but what do you think? Banging. Is it good? Yes. It's quality. Ooh, How big it is. I know. My taste test. Ah. Uh. <laughs> mm. mm. I don't know. Look at that. Cheesy. drink homemade drink and hey, don't hit. <laughs> mouthful of food mm. Mm. <laughs> definitely would recommend this Airbnb for anybody who comes to Krakow, would you recommend it? Will? I would. This is the little rooftop on the building as I showed you earlier with this amazing view. Very affordable. Um, it was 93 pounds for, for two nights. nights. Yeah. And, and checkouts at 12. Yeah. So. And you get the rooftop and obviously it's a really, it's a really nice apartment flat. Um, cool. Yeah, really warm. A bit too warm. <laughs> we had to turn off the radiator last night. And it's a little overheated. Uh, we had a great day. We had a good day. Yeah. Been great. Okay, we are about to go out. We're going to this cosmic mini golf place before dinner. Something that's like UV glow in the dark. Wait, is it cosmic? No, it's just. Is that what it's called? Cause I'm go. Um, so we're gonna do that, which will be fun. I'm just wearing this really cute um, top from Shein again. Um, just the same leather pants, Air Force Ones on my feet. Throw my massive coats over it, just be comfy. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Will's dressed the same as earlier, so <laughs> which is cute. Um, and I'm basically just wearing a different version of last night's outfit because when you can only bring a backpack, you have to Try work babe. with what you got. Um, but feeling cute, feeling fresh. Put in my 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 little bit of clip-in hair, my one row of clip-ins again because we're gonna go party tonight. Um, but yeah, that's what we're up to. So I'll check with you later. <laughs>
guy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Nearly. Oh my gosh, this massive parmesan crisp, salmon, vegetables. What is this? Duck. Roasted duck leg with milk. Ducky. Ducky. Four flights of stairs. We only three breaks. A little out of breath. Um, we made this really cute cafe with an amazing view, which I think I showed you guys. Um, so yeah, we just got some really yummy bagels that we're waiting for. Well, we hope they're yummy. And yeah, we're hoping orange juice and I found ice matcha latte. So we're very excited for that. Um, and we left our Airbnb. We checked out. R.I.P. Airbnb is so good. Slept great last night. Packed up our bags this morning. It was busy. We can and see the rooftop actually from here. Yeah, and now we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our day. We don't leave till really late tonight. Off at 10 p.m. Off at 10 p.m. So we're just gonna chill and eat and Living dream, drink and walk around. And it's beautiful weather again, and it's amazing. So yeah. Oh my gosh! So I got a matcha latte. Oh wow. With vanilla syrup in it. Fresh made orange juice. You got what? Grapefruit and orange? Yeah, mixed. Cheese. And we both got these insane bagels. Smoked salmon, cucumber. He got an egg in his. Hashtag vegan no vegan. <laughs> Not this trip. Um, and then we're sitting with a view. Just look up what was what is, when you look up here like drop my luggage like yeah there's this popular one called nanny bag nanny bag the, we did one with like luggage justice yeah there's different companies that do it and like different like shops and stuff just like store your luggage for you obviously pay radical storage um four pounds bag it's honestly it's worth it not to walk around for like seven hours with well, we paid 40 dotties yeah which is about eight pounds eight pounds for two bags um, so you don't have to walk around, or AK Will doesn't have to walk around with. Which direction are we going? Um, doesn't have to walk around with all of the bags because <laughs> it does break your back a bit. Um, so we just did that, and now we're just gonna go into Old Town. Get some food. And get some food. We just ate. Will's well, still I might get some food on the way. I think we're gonna get a little drink. I want to sit in the, one of the cafes in the Old Town outside because it's actually such nice weather. Literally, like, what is the sky? We've been blessed with the most perfect weather this trip. <laughs>
This is something I would say simple, but like the way that this looks is literally such a treat to me. It's like a autumn wonderland. Like, I didn't know it would look like this. Like what? It's not even picking up as beautiful as it is, but it's like, this is just an added bonus where I'm like, this is insane. Like I would come back here all the time in October. The weather's been amazing, which I guess you, can't, you can never guarantee, but this is just absolutely stunning. And I really am getting to experience this autumn vibes with the love of my life. Okay, so when we were researching places to come in Poland, someone said, blah, blah, this amazing hot chocolate. Some say it's the best in Europe. Well, we just... <laughs> so we're here. We, we asked the guy who was serving it though. Will was like, I was like oh, it's was... best in Europe. He goes, no, 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 best in Poland. And we're like, and I was like still pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. So he got this like cup of hot chocolate. I'm going to turn the camera around in a second. With this, with this like massive thing of cream. It's like coffee cream. And then I got a glass of Prosecco. Um, and he told me, oh, sorry, I accidentally poured too much. Same price. Normally it's less. So we're just winning all around the block, basically. Okay, go, no, it's so thick. Look at this, look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can't really, it's a little bit dark in here, but okay. Are you gonna yeah, try gonna it first? Go okay, do it. Does that just feel like a hot chocolate? Like you yeah, don't I mean, need the cream? No, I mean, it's banging. Mmm. Mm. It's like, it's like not sweet. I mean, it's it's a just like bit. good chocolate though. Yeah, a little bit of cream. So, do you think the cream is almost like, like whipped cream? Like, like almost, well, it's almost like clotted cream. Yeah, so let me try my Prosecco. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I just taste like a glass of wine. There's not much of this in that. Um, not complaining though. <laughs> Happy, happy, happy. We are currently walking down one of the main streets of Krakow. Trying to find who? Um, however, I've just realized that I have purple paint on my behind. <laughs> um, and I don't know how long it's been there, but it's very noticeable. It's dry though, so. It, it's a good thing I'm more secure, because otherwise I'll be very self conscious right now. Oh, well. Wait, should we show them? That, that's it. You guys get it. It's well, shot up Will's butt. Um, yeah. yeah so. Unfortunately, that is that. So. Oh, Some pierogies at the place we were at before. Um, CN was ticked off for a little shout out to those. Right yeah, here, we got some, fries, some, some more ketchup. I've got a wheat beer and a little prosecco. This is a prosecco and oyster bar, but we just got fries and drinks. So. Yeah, I think it was 26 dotties, which is five pounds. Mm. <laughs> it's not bad. Pretty good. So we're gonna do that. Maybe get something sweet, like a street food thing, and then get our Uber to our plane. Yeah. Job done. See you later. To my face. <laughs> so we made it to the airport, and we're about to get on our flight in a little bit. So we're gonna end the vlog here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along on our trip and subscribe. Hit oh, always. Like, always. like the vid, leave a comment and for more hopefully future traveling vlogs in the future. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.